Let's continue exploring motorcycles that made history. But first, if you'd like to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe to our channel. It's crucial to support this journey of storytelling and sharing the legacy of two wheelers. Today we're talking about the Moto Guzzi Moto Leggera, better known as Guzzino. Developed in the immediate post-war period, the Guzzi 65 Siki Moto Leggera achieved an unexpected level of popularity. Affordable, agile and lightweight, it offered unbeatable value and motorized a significant portion of Italy. In 1949, the streets of Milan buzzed with the metallic hum of thousands of Guzzinos. More than 12,000 enthusiasts from all over Europe, each riding a Guzzi 65, responded to an invitation from the Mandelo factory to join the largest post-war rally. This gathering celebrated a vehicle that literally gave Europe new wheels after the devastation of World War II. One Guzzi dealer, Rino Burton from Tien, went as far as building a Roman chariot drawn by three Guzzinos, controlled by a complex system of cable reins a tribute to both the bike and his love for innovation. The rally was so successful that it made history as the largest concentration of lightweight motorcycles ever organized. Within just three years of its debut, the Guzzino became one of the most popular vehicles for Italians, supporting the country's path to reconstruction. The innovative concept was the brainchild of Antonio Micucci, a designer from Monza who took refuge in Mandello during the war. Micucci had previously designed the Colibri, a 38cc micromotor that could be attached above the rear wheel of a bicycle. Although successful, many in Mandelo saw the Colibri as a compromise unworthy of Guzzi's reputation for medium and high displacement motorcycles. However, with economic difficulties and an existing law allowing motorcycles under 125cc to travel without registration plates, the Guzzi team decided to design a true lightweight motorcycle. Thus, the Guzzino was born, a simple, minimalist vehicle that remained unmistakably a motorcycle, complete with a three-speed gearbox, efficient brakes and suspension. The frame featured a single tube structure with a large monotube and it had stamped sheet metal parallelogram forks in the front. With cycle truck tires and drum brakes, it was designed to be durable and practical in an era of rationed supplies. The single-cylinder, two-stroke engine was simple and efficient, reaching a top speed of 50 kmh and able to handle inclines up to 20%. When it hit the market in 1946 for 80,000 lira, the Guzzino was an instant success. Reliable, agile and frugal, it could cover over 40 km per litre of fuel. It quickly became a faithful companion for work and leisure, even outperforming the popular Piaggio Vespa in handling. Guzzi and enthusiasts alike celebrated the Guzzino's sporty side in endurance races like the Milan Taranto and historic feats such as the Milan Oslo round trip. It was versatile enough to accommodate a sidecar or even be converted into a three-wheeled cargo bike. Some enthusiasts even replaced its original two-stroke engine with a four-stroke one. The Guzzino continued to evolve, receiving updates over the years such as a reinforced triangular swing arm in 1949 and simplified components in 1953 to keep costs low. Due to inflation, the price eventually rose to 159,000 lira in 1952, prompting Guzzi to make adjustments to maintain affordability. In 1953, they introduced a cast iron cylinder, a simpler fork, and a streamlined carburetor, bringing the price back down to 107,000 lira, and even lower, to 99,500 lira the following year. At that point, the Guzzino had undergone enough modifications to warrant a name change, becoming the Cardellino, which remained in production until 1965, with various updates over time. How did the Guzzino perform on the road? Well, it was a cross between a moped and a motorcycle with the pros and cons of both. Its modest two horsepower made it ideal for flat terrain and its efficient fuel consumption allowed for an impressive 260 kilometers of range. The hand-operated gearbox wasn't the easiest to use, 
but the engine's flexibility allowed for smoother operation and longer-lasting mechanics, contributing to its success throughout Europe. The power of simplicity. Equipped with simple yet reliable mechanics, the Guzzi Modolegara incorporated unique technical solutions to keep production costs low without sacrificing material quality. The Guzzi 65's two-stroke engine had an aluminum alloy head with a hemispherical combustion chamber featuring Schnurler scavenging with two transfer ports. It originally came with an aluminum cylinder, later switched to cast iron with an integrated liner and eventually an alloy version with a chrome-plated liner. The cylinder, inclined at 30 degrees, had cooling fins parallel to each other. The engine's design, with its simple two-segment aluminum alloy piston and uncomplicated connecting rod, contributed to its robust performance. Engine lubrication was ensured with a 5% oil-fuel mixture. The Dell Auto 14mm carburetor, combined with a 5.5 to 1 compression ratio, allowed the engine to deliver 2 horsepower at 5,000 RPM. The lightweight 45 kilogram frame equipped with simple yet robust suspensions and drum brakes completed this extraordinary vehicle. With a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour, the Guzzino was a model of simplicity and resilience. For Guzzino engine parts or any vintage motorcycle needs, visit www.thekingapiston.com where you'll also find metal wall signs, boxes, mugs and piston-themed decor.